All right, what is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another vlog, dare we call it? As you guys may be able to see in the background, I'm just finishing up my Wednesday's Madden video. And now I'm gonna go out and do something that I don't get a lot of time to do, but I really like to do when I can. And that's called hobby hunting. Now granted, I do have to run a few errands and pick a few things up so I have a reason to go to these stores. But what hobby hunting is, is I take a lap around my town, I go to all the Walmarts, all the Targets, and I check out the card sections to see if there's anything that I can buy that I usually can't find because cards don't last on the shelves nowadays. Before we do that, however, I'm gonna need lunch and I already know exactly what I want, so I will see you guys when I get there. Uh, I'll just take a number seven with a Coke, and that's it. A number seven with a Coke? Um, you can come to the first window. Have a nice day. Thank you. Dude, people can talk all the shit they want about McDonald's. It's not the best fast food, but it is a quality fast food restaurant. I will not lie, these fries are not fresh. Anyway, I've gotten the same meal since I was like 10. It's the two cheeseburgers and a fry. You know what's really sad? This is the same meal I've always gotten and I used to be able to get it with $5. I know that specifically because my mom used to get me a $5 coupon book to McDonald's for like my birthday and stuff. And it would always be good for one of these meals. This fucking thing was $8.37. Let me get into my gallon of Coke here that they gave me. Really sucks because I was gonna eat hot dogs for dinner tonight. Not anymore. I can't do that to my body. I gotta eat chicken or something. All right, anyway, guys, we're gonna head to Walmart first and we're gonna head to the, I call it the shitty Walmart because it's on the worst part of town. So we're gonna head out there. We're gonna check out, probably be really disappointed. Go over to a pet store because I gotta get boxed in some stuff. Jump over to a Target that's right across the street and then we'll drive back into town and go to the other two. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're here. I fucking hate this goddamn place so much. All right, so pleasant surprise. Sorry if you can hear the loud car in the background. That guy's a fucking douchebag. But I actually walked out with a box, of, I should say a hanger box of Panini Playbook. And they also had a bunch of shit in there. I'm sure you guys could see it. It was a pretty good selection. They even had a mega box of Topps Baseball, but I don't need any of that right now. Listen to this asshole. But yeah, I'm not into Topps Baseball right now for Series 1, so I didn't get the Mega Box. I left it for somebody else because I'm a nice guy. Either way, this only cost us $17.20. So uh, if we get like a Jamar or a Micah, even a Mac Jones, it's probably paying for itself. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway, on to the next stop. Okay, what the fuck is this? Just a full-fledged fucking carnival going on in the mall parking lot? Yeah, nothing new going on here. It's 30 and windy outside. Like Nobody is there. Okay, so now we're at Target. Uh, yeah, I'm blown away by the circus. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, I skipped the pet store stop because you guys don't need to see the inside of a pet store. But I got Buxton a new thrower so I don't throw my fucking arm out. And I got him a couple of these treat balls. They're just made out of rubber, but if you put like milk bones and stuff in them, it takes them longer than five seconds to eat it. So they're really helpful. Anyway, I'm gonna run into Target now. That's where I am. But this, I can almost promise, will be an almost instant stop because Target never has anything. If I go in there and walk out with something, I'm the luckiest man alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so as I figured, it was a tremendous waste of goddamn time. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, that kind of just killed any incentive I had to go to the other Target because that would slightly put me out of my way. Hold on, this guy doesn't know how to drive. Come on, buddy, I'm vlogging and I'm driving better than you, you fucking moron. But yeah, I'm not gonna drive five miles out of my way to go to another Target when they never have anything. It's, it's so disappointing. Like, at least Walmart has something. Did you guys not see the shelves in there? Other than a couple magic blaster boxes, they didn't have literally anything. Look at this circus right here. Yeah, nice, nice attraction. Kind of funny though, there actually is like an actual sports card shop right here that I'm pointing at. You guys can't see it, but I'm not gonna go there because they charge like 300% of what the actual retail cost is. It's laughably terrible. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna head to the last Walmart here, check it out, hopefully find something, then we'll go back home. I'll probably open the box of playbook for you guys and we'll see if we made money or not. All right, so here we are at the good Walmart, I call it. Uh, hopefully it's just like one of those weird situations where they have so much stuff, my arms can't hold it all, but that's extremely unlikely. Anyway, let's go check it out.
Yeah, nothing. I mean, it was definitely better than Target. I'm sure you guys could see that, but nothing that I wanted to buy. They had a bunch of football cards and stuff in there, but if it's not Panini, I don't want it. Like Leaf and all that other stuff, the cards are shitty quality and they're just not worth nearly as much. That's why they're cheaper to buy. Anyway, spur of the moment idea, we're going to run to that second Target just for memes, just to see how badly I can get screwed. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Look at this fucking house. Like, Jesus Christ. That house, I don't know if you guys could see it, but there was a big statue of like a Greek god in the front of it. It used to have a gigantic like scythe, but somebody stole it and it was a huge deal around town for a while. All right, we're at Target. Uh, for some reason, there's a school bus here. Yeah, I guess just a casual field trip to Target day. That's just normal. Yeah, as predicted, they didn't have anything in there. So now I'm going home and we're gonna rip that box of playbook finally to find out what the earnings or losses are on the day. So I'll see you guys for the final time in about five or 10 minutes when I arrive back home. All right, so we are back at my house now and uh, hopefully you guys can see this well. We are going to get into this box. All right, there's our cards. Jared Goff, right in the window. Okay, I like to do this in halves as well, so we'll split it right down the middle about. Damn, all right, it's not that good, but it's pretty good. I'll just kind of fan through these, I guess. Crowder, Aaron Donald, Chris Carson, Jonathan Taylor, Jerry Judy, Tyron Matthew, Carson Wentz, and our parallel is, ooh, a quitty pay. Second group of cards, we've got that Jamar next up. Unfortunately, it's not his base rookie, but it's still like, I mean, valuable considering he just got rookie of the year. And this should be all the rookies in the back. Kellen Mon, dud. Jabril Cox, okay. Dwayne Eskridge, Jesus Christ, come on. Joe Mixon, oh, I thought that was a rookie. Not even gonna try and pronounce his name, I'll butcher it, I'm sorry. And a JC Horn rookie in the end. That's good, he was a first round pick. So assuming these are the three winners from this box, guys, I'm gonna say I lost money for sure. All right, guys, I know my light's not on or anything, and we're back on the computer now instead of my phone for filming. But during the editing process, the entire end of the video got cut off. I don't know why. Either way, if you guys did enjoy this vlog, feel free to let me know. Maybe we can do hobby hunting again. Anyway, with that stuff being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and I will see you the next time I upload.